Welcome to Clinical Gan. Thank you for all your views and likes and supporting our channel. Today's topic is Case Report Form CRF Part 2. The design of CRF is a critical factor in capturing high quality data. The CRF development team needs to follow some basic steps to have a high quality CRF. These are to outline the data points from protocol to form the basis of CRF. This is to ensure the CRF should accurately represent the protocol of the clinical trial. While drafting, the need for customization of CRF is considered. This helps the template to be developed in such a way which can be customized according to the protocol requirement. These templates are of great help while conducting multiple studies in the same therapeutic area. Data standards like C- are implemented for data collection. The Clinical Data Acquisition Standards Harmonization defines basic standards for the collection of clinical trial data. This is to identify appropriate data format that FDA requires for submission. Data compatibility is assessed for appropriate data integration from external sources. This is required to check compatibility between CDM database and vendor supply or third-party lab data like imaging, ECG, etc. This is to ensure appropriate data integration within the final database. Draft paper CRF is created and best practices for CRF design is implemented. Every organization follows some standards for creating the draft CRF and mostly a standard library is followed. Let's see how eCRF is designed in any kind of ADC system. The first step is to log in into the ADC system. Next is to select the modules like Form Designer, Builder, or Architect, depending on the EDC tool you are using and the role provided to you. The next step is to create a new study or project providing all the specification required such as protocol number, name of the study, drug, or device used, enrollment target, and so on. The next step is to copy CRF draft from existing standard library or copy from an existing similar therapeutic study. Entire CRF can be copied or few forms as per the requirement. We can also create entirely a new form or CRF from the beginning using the database specification document. As shown in the picture, we have created a new demographics form. To add fields to the existing form, we need to select the data types. In most of the EDC systems, the data types provided are radio buttons, drop downs, or check boxes, or calculated fields. All these are linked to set of values or DVG, discrete value groups, or data dictionary. If we need to add a free text field or field type in database, if text boxes are needed for response, are date, time, date time, integer, number, zip code, phone, and email. After creating a new form, it looks like this. We have free text such as initials, we have radio buttons for gender, and we have date field for date of birth and date of informed consent. The next step is to implement the edit checks. There are different kinds of edit checks used. These are 
The first one is mandatory. This check is used so that no response box is left empty. Derived or calculated. This type of check is used to calculate age or BMI depending on the previous response. Dynamic setting. Dynamic setting checks are used for gender specific pages such as pregnancy pages and also used for therapeutic pages. Range checks. Range checks are used for lab normal values. This provides a range of lower normal and a higher normal value. Cross visit checks. Cross visit checks are used between different visits or cycles. Once all the standard forms are created, copy the forms to different visits or cycles depending on the order of their occurrence. For example, as shown here, for one visit, we can have demographics, vital signs, racist criteria, adverse event, concomitant medication, end of study, blood samples, physical examination. The same forms could be required for visit 2, 3, 4, and we can copy the forms to different visits. The next step is to implement the workflow matrix. This describes about the roles, their actions, and restrictions. Later, the database is tested for all its functionalities, which is known as UAT or User Acceptance Testing. Once all the findings and comments are resolved and fixed, the database is ready to go live. Database is pushed to production environment where the patient data is directly entered in the EDC from the source document by the site coordinator. We will bring more videos on database build using real-time EDC. For more information, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching this video. For any queries, please mail us at clinicalgan at gmail.com. Thank you.